Hi, Gwen Lawrence here again, talking to you on my video diary with my vibe plate. I have a couple of additions to tell you about before we get into the next thing I'm going to show you. Uh, but I'm working on my vibe plate at least every morning, if not in my evening workout as well. But I got really motivated recently to really jack it up instead of going gradually as instinctually I knew and as everything I read told me to do. So I had typically been working on it at 35 and I just jacked it up to 50 one day. And just to illustrate that it is truly affecting you from the inside out, I did literally maybe a 15, 20 minute workout, not real high intensity, but I was so sore that night and so jazzed up inside that I had to take Advil, which is not something that I do. So long story short, I've been feeling great and it got me really excited. So I wanted more faster as a lot of you do, which is not always the best thing to do. And it wasn't right. So my recommendation is not to get too excited too fast like I did and go more gradually. Um, and that just seems to be working amazingly. Whereas my son, who you saw working on the vibe plate, he jacks it up to 60, and he's totally fine. He's also 19, so um, just my experience, that's all I'm telling you. Also, every morning when I come down here, as you can see, my cat has been sitting on the vibe plate with me, so I have a feeling that cats know a little bit more than us sometimes, and maybe she knows something that we don't know. I'm just going to grab my timer, and tell you what I do every morning in addition to a quick run in the morning this isn't even my major workout it's just something that I'm committed to do every morning just to wake my body up and get my metabolism revving and I do a quick run and then I come on the vibe plate and do some warm-ups typical warm-ups that I do in the beginning of every one of my yoga classes that I teach I do it two to three minutes each I'm only gonna do it for 30 seconds with you guys because um, we don't have the time or the patience to do it for really long. So I'm going to just show you a brief synopsis of what I do every morning in addition to a run or a walk. I'm going to plug in the vibe plate and I'm going to turn it up to, I'm going to turn up to 40. So the first thing I do is easy cross leg. If this is difficult for you, you're going to sit on a block because if your hips are higher than your heels, you're going to eliminate some of this kind of thing and you still definitely get the effect of the vibe plate. So you're gonna take a deep breath in and bring your arms down into a 90 degree angle and twist. So like I said, I do this with every yoga class in the beginning, two to three minutes, warms up the spine, synchronizes breath with movement and kind of just gets you settled in place. And then I would do a quick stretch to each side. and then come on the back. Sometimes it's just a little too intense for my head, so I lay with my head on the block. The next one we're gonna do is you're gonna come to reclining cobbler's pose. Soles of your feet together, right in the middle of your body, and you're gonna come up and down. Now this isn't necessarily the hard part of the exercise, but this really exhausts the muscle group so that the next hold is more intense. I would do this for two to three minutes which is a little bit difficult. And then hold it out. Two to three minute hold, which gets pretty intense. But you wanna really try to relax and release and feel just legs open up. So after that long two to three minute hold, you don't really wanna engage the inner thighs really quick. So hands on the outside of your thighs, bring your legs back together, knees into your chest. Next one we're gonna do is opposite arm, opposite leg. Anybody that's ever done yoga with me knows this. Nice, long, full body stretch. Press the low back into the floor and opposite arm, opposite leg. Not only are we sinking breath with our movement, but we're also assessing. We're seeing how open the shoulders are in relation to each other as well. The hamstrings, the hips, warming up the core and getting some breath going just by virtue of moving. A lot of you will start out and you will be like this. And that's okay. And with time and practice, it'll be nice and strong and straight. Fingertips to the toe tips. Okay? Knees into your chest and come up to seated. 
So that could be a 10 minute long warm up in the morning before your workout, depending on how long you do each section for, and just doing it on the vibe plate just steps it up that much. So I will see you next time.